Twilight Sparkle dropped the stack of books she was levitating, turning as Rainbow Dash flew in through the library window. What's wrong, Rainbow? Is Ponyville in danger? Twilight looked through the open window, but nothing was there but blue skies and puffy white clouds. Ponyville? No, just me! Dash darted around the room like a hummingbird, not sticking to one place for more than an instant. Wide-eyed and panting, Rainbow turned to Twilight. You gotta let me hide in here! Hide? Twilight asked, one eyebrow raised. Really, Rainbow Dash? Hiding? From what? Not what? Who? Oh, a high-pitched voice sing-songed from outside, setting Dash's mane and tail on end. <laughs> Horse apple! The Pegasus squeaked, zipping up into Twilight's bedroom. There was a thud and a squeak of wood on wood before silence fell. The quiet was interrupted by the musical knocking on the front door, set to the tune Twilight didn't recognize. Come in! Twilight called, opening the door with a casual application of magic. No pony was there. Before Twilight could even react, she caught movement from the corner of her eye. It was Pinkie Pie, hopping through the same window Dash had already used. Hi, Twilight! Twilight blinked, glancing back and forth between the door and the window. She shrugged and shut the door, turning to smile at her newest guest. Good afternoon, Pinkie Pie! Twilight's horn glowed as she lifted up one of the books she dropped on the floor. Can I help you with something? Uh-huh, uh-huh! Pinky replied, hopping in place. I'm looking for Rainbow Dash! Have you seen her? Twilight hummed, pretending to browse through the book she was levitating. I'm not sure. She turned to look at Pinky again. What do you need her for? Pinky wiggled. Our very, very first date ever was three months ago today! Twilight smiled wide. That's quite the little anniversary. Congratulations! Thanks! Pinky said with a bounce, her face nearly split in two by the tremendous grin. The librarian shelved a book, fidgeting with it for several seconds, and peering with one eye, not releasing her magical grip until certain it was placed just so. Mind if I ask you a few questions later on your relationship? The transition from close friend to long-term relationship can be an interesting topic of research on the magic of friendship. Sure! Pinky leaned closer, waggled her eyebrows, and dropped her voice into conspiratorial levels. As long as you tell me where Rainbow Dash is! Twilight tilted her head forward and whispered, In my room, under the bed, I think, but you didn't hear it from me. Hear what? Pinky gave an exaggerated wink before turning away. She somehow hopped silently up the stairs, Twilight watching all the while. How does she do that with everything she eats? Twilight asked herself under her breath, then shrugged and picked up another book to put away. They really are a cute couple. I wonder why Rainbow Dash is trying to run away from her. Ah! Got you! <laughs> no way! Tika tiki Not again! <laughs> There was a thump and rustling, and then more wood squeaking on wood. Twilight looked up at her bedroom door and perked her eyes as two voices giggled together. <laughs> no, Pinky! Stop it! Dash called out between helpless chuckles. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! Not there! <laughs> I'm not letting you get away this time! Pinky declared, and then laughed along with the sound she seemed to be forcing out of her poor Pegasus victim. Oh, that's probably a good reason to run away from Pinky. Twilight said, shelving another book. Rainbow Dash burst through the door, feathers askew, panting as she hovered in the middle of the room. She shook her head as if to clear it, and then met Twilight's eyes. Can't you levitate her or something? The unicorn shook her head. And choose between my friends? Who's to say I shouldn't levitate you instead and hand you over? Pinky leapt through the open bedroom door and into a perfect swan dive, directly into Rainbow Dash, sending them tumbling end over end together until they landed against the wall. Pinky looked down at Dash, pinned beneath her. Gotcha again! The party pony said, grinning and leaning in to smush their noses together. Pinky! Rainbow said quickly, squirming underneath her filly friend. Don't! Don't do it! 
her eyes flick to Twilight, and then back up into Pinky's piercing blue gaze. Twilight's watching! So? Pinky trailed a hoof along Rainbow Dash's side with a delicate touch, slow and smooth, making Dash cringe, but not enough to cause ticklish giggles. You know what you gotta do to make me stop! Pinky teased with voice equal parts sultry and playful. Dash's heart was racing. She gulped hard and stared into Pinkie Pie's eyes for a long moment. Twilight almost didn't ask, but the pause stretched long enough for her curiosity to overwhelm. What, uh, what does she have to do to make you stop? She asked, looking at them out of the corner of her eye. The next book she shelved was noticeably askewed. Pinkie sat up and turned to Twilight. She just has to see! Rainbow Dash was gone in a rush of wind that rustled the pages of every open book in the room, not to mention leaving Pinkie Pie flat on her back. Aww, shoot! Pinkie hopped to her hooves, smiling despite the turn of events. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Twilight said with a sheepish smile. It's okay, it just means that intrepid hunter Pinkie Pie is back on the prowl! Pinkie deposited a safari helmet on the top of her head and bounced out of the library's front door. See you later! Bye, Pinkie! Twilight closed the door behind her friend and then giggled. Yeah, Rainbow doesn't stand a chance. A streak of rainbow movement caught Applejack's attention. Her eyes traced it until the Apple family barn blocked her view, her ears perking up at the creak and slam that followed. What in the hey? Applejack asked no pony in particular, trotting through the barn. She pulled open the wood door set into the ground on the other side. What are y'all doing in my apple cellar? Applejack asked blindly into the darkness. Nothing! AJ just shut the door! Rainbow Dash's voice was unmistakable. Not till you start explaining yourself, Missy. There was a pause, then... I'm hiding, okay? Applejack snorted. Rainbow Dash, hiding. <laughs> From what? Pinkie Pie! Applejack blinked, then chuckled. <laughs> First off, Sugar Cube, since when does hiding from Pinkie Pie ever work? And second, why are you hiding from her? Y'all didn't have a fight, did ya? You didn't go break that poor little pony's heart. What? No way! Dash suddenly flew up to hover in front of Applejack, a hoof prodding the farmer's chest. Like I'd ever! Then with the blink, Rainbow dropped to the ground and looked down at her hoof as she scuffed the grass beneath it. At least, I don't think- Dash him! Ah! Rainbow Dash had barely enough time to perk her ears and unfurl her wings before she was once again tackled at full speed. The wind knocked out of her as she rolled through the grass with the familiar weight clinging to her middle. As the panting Pegasus got her sight back, she found herself once again staring straight up into Pinkie Pie's huge blue eyes. A tiny smile came to her lips before she remembered she was supposed to be fleeing in terror. The pink pony was happy to remind her. Pinky smooched her filly friend on the nose and grinned as she simply said, Mine. And then the tickling began. Ah! No! Wait, Pinky! <laughs> no! Dash squealed, blushing as she tried to pretend Applejack wasn't right there watching her fail to squirm away from Pinkie Pie's devilish hooves digging into her sides. Applejack chuckled and shrugged. <laughs> Looks to me that everything's just fine and dandy. Pinkie stopped abruptly as she started. Say it! She insisted with a grin, giving Dash's belly a warning prod that elicited a twitch from the pinned pony. Pinky! I... just, um... Dash looked over at Applejack as if for support, but the farm pony was already walking back to her barn. I'll just give you two some privacy, Applejack said with an audible smile in her voice. What's all the commotion? A younger voice asked. Apple Bloom's head peeked out from the barn before Applejack reached it. Oh, hi, Pinkie Pie. Hi, 
Pinkie Mutlash? Pinkie sat up and waved a hoof. Hi -ya -ha! The pink pony found herself upside down on the ground again, a rainbow streak making its way into the distance. Nuts! She said, bouncing upright. Applejack grinned. <laughs> you want to borrow my rope? Pinkie put a hoof to her chin, brow furrowing, but then shook her head. Nah, maybe next time. I think I'm wearing her down. Bye bye for now. Bye. bye. Applejack and Apple Bloom sat together, and as Pinkie bounced away, the little sister asked, Now what was all that about? Applejack smiled and rustled Apple Bloom's mane. Nothing for you to worry your pretty little head about at your age. Go on, get back to work. Ah! Apple Bloom groaned. You always say that. But she was already heading back into the fields. Applejack looked over her shoulder towards Ponyville, watching a puffy pink tail bounce out of view. Go and get her, Pinkie Pie. Hunkered down behind the stage curtain of Verity's basement, Rainbow Dash shook her head and caught her breath. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Gosh, what am I gonna do? You are gonna giggle. Ah! Pinky whispered into her ear. Rainbow yelped, hoof scrambling against the stage as she tried to somehow run away and lift off at the same time. Pink hoof snatched up the Pegasus, pulling her close to Pinky's warm body. Rainbow's mouth opened to shout something, but soft, sweet lips nestled into her own. <coughs> Rainbow complained, then melted against her filly friend. Their lips started to open for a deeper kiss, and Rainbow wrapped her hooves around Pinky. And then Pinky pulled out of the kiss and dug her hooves into Dash's sides with a breathy giggle. <laughs> Say it! You know you wanna! <coughs> no, wait, Pinky! Stop! No! Rainbow soon found herself pinned down to the wood of Rarity stage, squirming and trying to lever the rabid earth pony off of her hooves even as she wriggled. Pinky! Say it! Pinky sing-songed, pressing the attack, keeping Dash too weak and off balance to warm free. Pinky! The pink pony finally stopped tickling. Both mares panting softly as they laid belly by belly on the stage, eyes locked, lips nearly touching. Yes? Pinky asked, tenderly rubbing her nose into dashes. I... Rainbow took a deep breath, closed her eyes, and then opened them again to stare back at her filly friend. Pinkie Pie... Pinky grinned a smaller smile. You... Do you want to say it, don't you? Pinky. Rainbow Dash gently extricated herself, standing to look at the curtain instead of the other mare. It's just, I... I don't know what... She gave one last pause, and then Rainbow pecked Pinky on the cheek and blurted. Uh, I'm sorry! Before taking flight and squeezing out of the basement window. Pinky was still looking out the window when Rarity suddenly threw the curtain open with her magic. The unicorn was wearing a white towel around her mane, a bathrobe, and a mud mask, but she magically held a frying pan overhead. Who? When she saw Pinky's back turn to her, Rarity let the pan drop. Oh, it's just you, Pinkie Pie. Rarity said, stepping up into the stage. That ruckus scared me off to death. What ever are you doing down here alone in the dark? Pinkie Pie sniffled, not turning away from the window. Rarity hesitated before stepping closer, almost near enough to touch. Her voice softened. Pinkie dear, is... is everything all right? Pinkie blinked her eyes several times and rubbed the back of her hoof across her face before turning to smile wide at Rarity. I wasn't alone... I've been playing hide-and-seek with Rainbow Dash all day long. Rarity paused and looked at Pinky's face before smiling back. You'd think she'd know better by now. How 
do you do it anyway? You always win hide and seek. Pinky sense. Pinky announce, starting to bounce towards the stairs with Rarity following. It works on any pony, but especially special super duper well for dashy kids. Rarity's face lit up with a smile, eyes wide. You have special pinky senses just for Rainbow Dash? Uh-huh. Rarity held the back of her hoof to her forehead and gushed. How absolutely romantic! Why, it must be true love! Pinky stopped smiling at the top of the stairs, and her smile faltered. A second later, she giggled weakly and stepped across the room to the boutique's front door. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. See you later, Rarity. Pinky left, gently shutting the door behind her. Rarity looked at it, and then down at Opal Essence, rubbing against her leg. Was it something I said? <sighs> Rainbow Dash heaved a big sigh, her third in the last ten minutes, as she watched the sun setting over Ponyville. The biggest branch on the lone tree on the hill overlooking the town was maybe the best vantage point one could have of Ponyville without being in flight, and Dash didn't really feel like flying. She fidgeted a little, leaning back into the tree trunk, and bumped the back of her head against it in time with the words. Stupid, stupid, stupid. A whiff of caramelized sugar hit Rainbow's nose, and she spoke without turning her head. You're already up here, aren't you? Uh-huh. Came Pinky's soft response, coming somewhere in the foliage. Rainbow sat up, her eyes glued to the red, yellows, and oranges of the sky over Ponyville. How long? One hour and seven minutes, give or take. Dash blinked. You sat here still for over an hour? Uh-huh. Pinky's voice was reserved, almost solemn. Why? Because I wanted to be with you, but I didn't know if you wanted me to be with you. Rainbow took a deep breath. So you sat still for over an hour for me? I guess so. Dash tilted her head to thump against the tree trunk. Ugh, and all because I'm too much of a scaredy cat to say those three words. Pinky hopped into the branch next to Rainbow and wrapped her up in a tight hug, even as the Pegasus tensed up at the contact. I'm sorry I tried to make you say it. You don't have to. I'll still love you, even if I'm the only one who says it. Dash felt moisture on her shoulder. Her heart and mind suddenly raced. Before she knew it, she had already taken off. But this time, she stopped a dozen feet from the tree and treaded air several long seconds before turning back over her shoulder. Pinkie Pie was looking up at her, tears in the corner of her eyes, biting her lower lip. Dash looked back at Ponyville, then slowly flapped her wings to take her back to the branch. She sat down, not quite touching Pinky, but so close she imagined she could feel the other mare's body heat. Her eyes went back to Ponyville and stayed there, out of focus. Can I... Pinky started and then stopped sniffling. Can I tell you why I love you, Rainbow Dash? Responses whirled through Rainbow's mind, but she couldn't decide how to answer fast enough to stop her. So Pinky continued... Because you make me all happy, inside and out, Dashy. You make me smile, and not just smiles, but super big humongo grin smiles that can power the Friendship Express for a year. If, you know, trains ran on smiles. <laughs> Dash didn't respond. And you like me for me, no matter how pinky I might be. You listen to my songs. Even the really bad ones. You cut into your really, really important flying practice time to be with me. And sometimes you help out at Sugar Cube Corner, even though somehow you still can't tell the difference between sugar and flour without tasting it. 
Pinky wasn't done. And most of all, I know that no matter what, through thick and thin, come rain and snow and hail and really raining actually cats and dogs. Pinky raised her hooves over her head. Even if Nightmare Moon came back and teamed up with Discord and the Changeling of the Sombra to make some kind of ministry of evil and took over Equestria using Ursa Minor's and Manticores to enslave all the cute little ponies of Ponyville. Pinky settled back down and set her cheek on Dash's shoulder. You'll always be here for me, Rainbow Dash, no matter what. Just like I'll always be here for you. Rainbow swallowed hard and finally looked at Pinky. No matter what. She whispered. Uh-huh. Pinky replied. Her eyes still shined with recent tears, but her smile was almost Pinky-sized. Rainbow Dash looked back at Ponyville, but this time she noticed she was staring at Sugarcube Corner and realized she had been all along. She put a hoof to her face and groaned. Why is this so hard for me? Because you're Rainbow Dash? Pinky offered. Not that I'm complaining, I like you for you, no matter how dashy you might be. Dash looked back at Pinky, then at Sugar Cube Corner again in the distance. Pinky's loft, easily the most visible part of the building. Pinky, the last three months have been awesome. The best. I love. Dash stopped and swallowed, then restarted. I really, really like being with you. You're fun and so cute and you're random and full of surprises. It's like every day is an adventure with you. <laughs> Daring do eat your heart out. Dash grew a small smile as Pinky giggled <laughs> quietly with a small sniffle. Rainbow's voice lowered, her short-lived smile fading. What if I said it? Then... It's not just for fun anymore, is it? Then we're playing for keeps. What if... What if I said it, but it doesn't last? Dash's eyes filled with tears as she looked into Pinky's. What if we break up and I never see you again? Pinky moved to hug Rainbow and the Pegasus met her in a rush halfway. The pair hugging tight enough for Rainbow's ribs to ache, they kept their embrace for a long, long time, even as a pair of birds met in a tree, chirped, and flew away together. Finally, as the last of the disk of the sun sank below the horizon, they pulled apart far enough for Pinky to lock her gaze with Rainbow's and smile. Dashy! Even if we're friends, or bestest friends, or super duper bestest friends with benefits, or Philly friends, or, or married, I'm happy because you're around. Pinky smiled and beeped her nose into rainbows, infecting the Pegasus with a little smile of her own. You're never ever going to leave me forever, are you? No matter what? No matter what, Rainbow replied with a firm nod. my pinky promise that I shall never, ever, 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 never see you again. Pinky crossed her heart with her hoof, then held it over her eye. Rainbow sniffled once, then took a deep breath, rubbing the back of her head with a hoof. Sorry, I was too scary cat to say it. It's okay. Pinky butted in, hugging close and rubbing cheek to cheek. You don't have to. Dash pulled Pinky away from her by the shoulders and shook her head. Yes, I do. Pinky shook her head, but Rainbow put a hoof over the mare's lips. You were brave and took a big risk. <laughs> That's my job. How can I let my Philly friend out dash the dash? <laughs> Pinky giggled. Rainbow looked back at Ponyville one last time, then closed her eyes and tilted her head until she was resting her nose against Pinky's. With her heart thumping in her chest hard enough that she could hear it, Rainbow Dash whispered, I... I love you, Pinkie Pie. There was a rush, a tingle through her body, and she opened her eyes to say out loud, I love you, Pinkie Pie! Dash looked back at Ponyville, 
then laughed and cupped her hooves to her lips and shouted, Rainbow Dash loves Pinkie Pie! The town was too far away to hear Rainbow, but some pony on the other side of the nearby hill responded with a distant, Pinkie and Rainbow shared a glance and <laughs> fell into a helpless laughter, holding tight to each other as the tension of the day seeped away. Rainbow Dash rubbed jovial tears from her eyes with the back of a hoof as they started to recover. <laughs> so, I guess every pony but me knew that I loved you. Probably. <laughs> Pinky replied, still struggling with the aftershock giggles. I still, <laughs> I still can't believe <laughs> you shouted like that. I thought I was supposed to be the cute, random, and surprising one. She poked Dash in the chest with a hoof. Is my Billy friend gonna out-pink the pink? Dash smirked, which suddenly became a full-on wolfish grin. Speaking of switching things around... Rainbow's wings perked up, feathers rustling. Never have a tickling contest with the Pegasus. When I'm through with you, you'll be begging for mercy. Pinky grinned back, flicking her tail. Not if I kiss you first. <laughs> You're on. And, in the end, they both won. <laughs>